the user. He's got everything. Senor. Buongiorno capo. Ciao. Buongiorno. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Some of the bikes uh, for sale, I think, over here. All the tops, various famous old names. <laughs> Careful, you're on camera, boys. I'm not going to wear it. So we, we're now having a, a goggle off. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you bought some goggles. Where are they from? Where you get them from? Team Oh, you bought a sponsor team. Oh, that's a nice and, cut. Uh, that. We, we also got the uh, we got the shorts. We got the little shorts, the little Lignano shorts. Lignano. So we're ready to go. We are fully <laughs> ready. <laughs> we're ready. Right, kids, we're sweet in a sweet shop, eh, Tim? <laughs> Mr. Brady, do you have anything to say on your first visit to oh, Gayoli? Um, I think the cause are fantastic. I don't care about the racing. I think the cause is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you got your goggles, you got your hats. Have you been over there yet? Over the other side? Yeah, yeah, that's where we've been. I bought uh, Fiorella, Fiorella top, 1970s. If you want to. Quite a short explanation in English, you've got a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, try and explain it here. Um, the rims are they're old fashioned, but they, um, they have their, a, a, they are originally from the past, but they're built up in a new, completely new system. This means that they, they use a, a double compound epoxy glue and the holes are drilled and uh, made by a CNC machine yeah? and um, yeah. they are made up in five layers and the difference is to the old-fashioned rims like uh, Lobdell and Fairbanks is that they are not joined like so the wood is bent and joined like so um, they are made in strips and then you have uh, constant joints everywhere so that they, um, they sp they're springy and very strong yeah. And they also have some of the rims, uh, two layers of linen, linen, cotton, between the layers. So like the old airplanes, so that, uh, like the airplane wings, so they're flexible. Yeah. And uh, this guy here is the best in the world. Uh, What's his name? Giovanni. 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 Looks like he's an old hand at this. Uh, Grazie. And what's your name? My name is Richard. Richard, well thank you for that. Richard, I just noticed there's a lovely wooden bike behind you. Sure, I'll get Look it out. No problem. Look at that. Yeah. Seen that, John? Beautiful. Absolutely. They give you a, a card from uh, uh, in English. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what type of wood is it? No, this is Sol uh, Sylvanian peach. Is that renowned for its flexibility and durability? Um, quality. The problem is that the wood uh, um, should be matured before they use it. And, okay. uh, um, I'm obviously not German, but this is a German intern. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Great. Well, thank you for that. No problem. That's very kind of you. Thanks for your time. Nice to meet you. And you as well. That'll be on the on the blog. Uh, oh, this is in Brooklyn. Major play in the 70s. Roger de Flaming. Was a, what do I wear with these top wires? Oh, you want uh, something bright, something white, something bright, Peugeot. I'll go for that, Del. Nice Peugeot. Like that or not? Yeah, yeah. Because then you've got a bit of tradition and a bit of modernity, but that might be a bit difficult. Will, will you go with your tweed jacket there, Tim? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> which, which tweed jacket, though? Well, you've got quite a selection. <laughs> got some shoes as well. No, that's the only thing I'm lacking after. Look at that, eh? There's some kit here. Tony, are you not getting anything or are you just keeping your hands in your pocket at all times? I think you should go around in them, Mick. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no top on, just them. 
<laughs> You're like one of them from Panama guys. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. Okay. Lock up. Yeah. Some shoes, What size are you? I'm size nine. Uh, quanto quattro? Forty-four. Quanto quattro? Remember those? Pair of jeans. Oh my God! Look at the state of them. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's definitely in. That's definitely in there. We've got designer holes in it. <laughs> if they were Dolce and Gabbana, you'd pay a fortune for that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's got the. Um... Can you get some socks? No, nah, I'm buying any socks for that. Right then, I'm uh, signing off now. <laughs> So here we are at Deep Mart's little stand here and a fantastic story we just thought all this was replica stuff but the story behind it, detail explain is he bought a shop and all this stuff was actually in the cellar so I'll pass you over to Deep Mart and he can sort of explain what happened. Yeah, tell us. Uh, this old bag is closed, uh, these parts are forgotten in the cellar. There have been more than this, much more than this, over 80 bikes and over 100 shoes and all the stuff you see here around. So oh. you, can, you can actually see the shoes that we've just bought, or a little Gino Battelli original little shoes. And then you also, the little um, the sole clip on. things that we put yeah. on, if we just show those to the camera. And these, these bikes are all for sale, all came of 30, 40 years and old. The, this is an interesting part, so here, when you've got the, um, the rat cages on, you sort of nail those on, there's a little ridge there that'll just sit on the back of the pedal so it sort of saves you slipping off. And last time we didn't have them, yet, so now we're even more efficient because we've got those. And I think it's a great store, we're going to have a look at all the bikes here and hopefully we won't get tempted too much and end up with a bike as well. Uh, great. But look at, look at the bikes he's got here, Bianchi, Adorni, Torpedo, Bianchi. You know, awesome, Good. amazing, all bikes, they've been stored in a cellar in Germany for how long? 40 years. 40 years? <laughs> wow. These were originally uh, packed like these bikes on the corner, like only with paper around. With still, in the, around. Still, in, still in the bikes? All, this, all the rest. Have you got a card I could have? Hmm? Do you have a like, business card? Yes, I'll give you. Yeah. Thank you, eh? Half a day for cleaning and polishing this bike, we take all the screws, all the cables, all the brakes out and the rims are absolutely clean, no glue, yeah. nothing, wow. only yeah. laid on. A little bit pressure because if you put too much it will explode. Yeah. They are, okay. These uh, oh, tires are so old. Kalkov, what, uh, what year is that? Kalkov. It's a German uh, yeah. frame where yeah, yeah, Uschi yeah, Obermeier yeah. makes a um, commercial yeah. for it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And um, yeah, she's uh, famous in, in Munich. Yeah. Um, I like that. You like that one? That's a, that's a nice one. How much is that going for? Uh, I think about in the front. 750. Oh, 750. But we have the professional here with a complete first train black, two VAs. And it's about 1200. 1200. Wow. Unused. Unused. And it's 40 years old. Yes. Fantastic. Nearly. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, uh, great. No, no. Same one. Galkov. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Because uh, when these parts are beat, I was a little baby. I didn't know everything about yeah. it. So your wife wants to go on holiday, so you need to sell a lot of bikes. I have to sell and You'll because to Barbados. it was a hard, hard work to take it on the box of my hanger. Yeah. And we didn't get any cable in the bag. Yeah. It was full, absolutely full. Thank you there, boys. Thank you again, Dieter.